Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Twin Flame Daily Check-In for Friday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So I'm going to bring in the Crystal Angels Oracle Card deck today. So I'm going to bring in this deck because I feel there is healing still taking place. There's still ascension symptoms taking place. And when we connect with the crystals, it can help to bring in a healing. And also the angels around this deck can help to understand why these things are coming in and what we need to change. And I'm definitely connecting with the masculines experiencing back pain as we move towards the weekend. So they may have been experiencing this this week. They may start to experience it now. And you may connect with that as a divine feminine because you and your masculine are one. So I'm going to shuffle the cards and get an energy around the feminine, the mask and the journey. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about back pain and why it occurs. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around the divine feminine today on this fabulous Friday? Got two cards coming out there. Oh, another two cards. So quite a few cards coming out for the feminine. And energy, please, today around the divine masculines. And the reason why I feel that more cards have come out for the feminine here is because you also send so many healing thoughts and vibrations and feelings to your masculine in the 5D. And that really does help them to deal with any ascension symptoms or any insecurity or anything they're feeling vulnerable about. And the energy around the journey, please, angels. Got a few cards coming out for the journey there. Now, I'm going to my Twin Flame Ascension Oracle here, and I have done a full deck walkthrough on this deck in the playlist section. And, you know, you can go to that if you haven't got the deck yourself. You can go to that walkthrough and kind of find any physical thing that's going on by, you know, kind of going through the deck and picking out the particular cards that may be affecting you right now. Because when we go through things in the physical body, it can be very painful. It can be very, dis, you know, kind of disabling to us. It can affect work. It can affect sleep. It can affect everything that we're doing. So when we go through back pain, I do feel this is what the masculines are going through. They may even be sleeping on the sofa because of this right now or sleeping on the floor. It may be bringing us insomnia in. Maybe they're having a day off work. They, you know, they're feeling it very intensely. Because when we have back pain, it's connected with worries and concerns about stability and the future. And if the masculines are changing their lives, they are going to have worries and concerns. They're going to think about stability and the future. They're going to be worrying about money. They're going to be stressing over what the next steps are. If they've got to come back into your life, and of course they've got to come back into your life, but if they need to do that after a long period of time away from you, they're going to have worries and concerns about that. They're going to worry if you've moved on or if there's someone else or if you're going to allow them back into their life. So they're going to be worrying and concerned about that too. So when we go through any form of back pain, and this can also affect other parts of the body. You know, if we've got back pain, it can affect the stomach and it can affect the shoulders. It can affect the head. We can have headaches. It can make us feel generally sick and unwell. So you may be associating another symptom with back pain that you may be going through. But I definitely feel that whatever is going you know, being experienced or whatever the masculines are going through, whatever you're going through, it's about the future. It's about concerns and worries around the uncertainty of what's to come. So whenever we go through that, we know we're operating in a fear-based energy which lives in the future. It's an anxious energy. It's a false experience appearing real or our mind creates false evidence that appears real that makes it seem even more scary. So we have to trust in the power of God, knowing that God is our source and our life is divinely guided and protected. And we can affirm that my life is divinely guided. My life is protected. I am protected. I trust in God. I recognize that God is my source. I remember who I am. My life is working out beautifully for me. Everything is where it's meant to be in this moment. In this moment, I am safe. And then we start moving back into the power of the now and we feel calm and at ease again. And all those symptoms fall away. Now, if we're experiencing lower back pain, I definitely feel the masculines are experiencing each of these lower, middle and upper back pain. It may be more severe for your twin in the lower back or the upper back. But if they're experiencing these back pains, it's about fears and concerns about the future. Now, if they are dealing with lower back pain, it's about finances. 
financial concerns and fears. So they may be worried about a job. They may be worried they haven't got enough money. They may be worried about their lifestyle or losing something. Maybe they're thinking about divorce and what that means. So we have a desire for more and that's natural, it's healthy, but when we feel there's a lack of something, that's not healthy. So we can affirm and say, I have enough, I am rich in all things, I am enough. And really it's about them feeling enough. You know, when we go through lower back pain, the masculines can also feel like a failure. They can feel like they've let you down, you know, down, down on the back pain here you know, they can feel all these things. So they may have concerns about being enough for you, being able to provide and give to you a healthy future. And that's on their mind. Obviously, that doesn't matter to you as a divine feminine, you know, you want them and you'll build that foundation with them. And you'll build that life with them. But they want to be your equal. They want to give and receive equally. That's what the journey needs to be. So this is on their mind today. And it could be causing pain. We've also got the middle back, which is connected with guilt. So if they have guilt over the past, the way they've treated you, the way they've behaved, they need to forgive themselves for that and let it go for good. If they feel they've betrayed you or denied the love, and that's why St. Peter can help because when he denied Jesus, he felt like he betrayed him. He felt like it was the worst thing he could do. So when we call on St. Peter, he can assist us with moving through guilt. So obviously, if you're helping your masculine to deal with this and heal with this, you can call on St. Peter to be around your twin in the 5D realm to bring in a healing. And if they're dealing with upper pain, which can also affect their neck and shoulders, they may be feeling unloved and unsupported. They're craving your love. They're craving approval for who they are. And they may be craving approval from the outside world. So that can also be from their job or their boss or someone else. Because really what they need is to feel safe and complete. And with you, they feel that way. And when they're not with you, they don't feel that way. And you can go through this yourself when you're not with your twin, if you're not connected with heaven enough. Because when we are feeling unsafe, we're not being, we're not allowing God to help. You know, when we feel safe, we know that we are guided. We know that we are guarded. We know that we are complete because we recognize that we are one with all things, including our twin. So when we understand that our connection with self and source is all that's required and the only approval that we will ever need comes from inside and above us, we start to feel at peace. So that's the reasons why upper back pain, lower back pain or middle back pain could be occurring today. So let's begin with the masculines because I feel they're going through this. And we've got one card. So we've got unconventionality and this is Moldavai. Now, what I'm really connecting with here is as well, you know, you see through the illusion. So if their life seems to be going well on the surface, you can kind of see mold there, you know, mold when things aren't right or when things have gone off, you know, you recognize when things aren't right. And the masculines are realizing this too. It's like he's realizing, I'm going, my life is like a moldy piece of cheese. It won't tastes very nice, you know, it won't feel very nice if I eat that, it will give me indigestion. And they are realizing that they are unique and they have qualities that are unique and are important, that they are an important part of society, but also an important person of their life and their purpose. And I feel they're struggling to even communicate this or find the right words or get the words out because they feel different right now. They feel different from the crowd, they feel different from their karmic partner, they feel different from their friends and their family and they're realizing it's okay to feel that way and that can bring up so much fear which can affect their back because there's changes to be made. They're realizing, hang on, I can't keep going with the flow with this, I can't keep pretending, I can't pretend something isn't moldy when it is, I can't pretend something isn't right when it is you know, pretend so it, this is all wrong, it feels wrong, they can't even get the words out, they may even say the things to you in the wrong way, but you have the power to see beyond the illusion of what's going on, you can see that this isn't right with them, and they're also giving me the word David as well, okay, I've got the word Dave or David coming through for this very powerfully, so that may resonate with someone, but you may want to send your masculine healing energy today to help them to realize it's okay for them to be different. So we've got the beautiful emerald light around the feminine. This is the emerald healing light of Archangel Raphael, the healing angel. 
So this is reminding you that you are a healer like him, that you have the power to bring healing into this connection, into your physical self, into their physical self, because you can send this out, whether you do that through a ceremony or a celebration of the love. But there's something big going on. The angels want you to know as a divine feminine that this is a time right now in January in 2024 as we prepare for the dragon to come in in February. It's a time of important life passages. Okay, so it means you're moving into a new awareness of things. You're moving into a new area of your life, a new chapter of your life. And that new chapter is going to include births, weddings, graduations, anniversaries, amazing things. So it really is like you're graduating into the next step of your journey. And you're going to have so many things to celebrate and be grateful for, so many things to do together and separately as an individual and as a couple, and you've been prepared for this. So you can send healing to your twin right now to prepare them for the next step of their life, to bring things together. And I'm definitely feeling this could be done as a ceremony where you may light some candles and meditate and do it that way. Or you can just be grateful for life and send them gratitude in that way. And that's gold. That's like gold. Divine intervention is also golden. It's a magical thing. You know, when we call on the angels, when we pray, when we talk to God, he will send a miracle in to answer this, to bring in an answer to your sincere prayers when you're being genuine. God will connect with you and answer you. And there's gold there. So you're being reminded to think about all the beautiful things in your life, those golden moments that create miracles and magic. And we've also got calcite here, busy times and multitasking. So if you're busy, if you're going through busy times, if you feel like you're multitasking, you're being reminded that you are protected. Heaven is all around you and you are safe. And you may use calcite to help you with this, to take charge of your schedule, you know, during the busy times and be honest with yourself and really look at your life and think, what can I do to make this better? How can I assert myself? What are the underlying reasons I'm busy right now? And you may also be looking at your masculine's life, realizing they're busy with things, they're taking care of business. They may be at work today. So you can send them love and light in the 5D realm. And also, we've got Suja Light for opening up to your divine power, to own that power, to replace any codependent behavior or codependent people or situations or people pleasing trying to make it better for your twin or trying to communicate with them, even when you know that it needs space or healing right now because your masculine may be in a negative frame of mind or may need to go away and end that karmic situation or do things away from you, sometimes we can try and continue the conversation because we're afraid of losing them. You're being reminded that you can never lose the other half of your soul. You can never lose what's meant for you. So you're being asked to step into your own power, your own divine feminine power to replace that codependency. So you get what you need from inside of yourself and above you through self and source. So you're not relying on your twin to make you happy or complete you. And you do that with assertiveness, with empowerment by remembering your truth. And when you're operating in your light and you feel this way, you feel golden, you feel magical, you feel there's a miracle taking place and that will rub off on your twin. So the energy around the connection, we've got smoky quartz to clear negativity. So if you feel there is negativity in your connection or if you feel your masculine is going through back pain or worry or struggle, you can actually use smoky quartz to assist you, to release negativity from your life, from within you, around you and everything about this connection. And remember, you know, clearing away negativity is also part of your divine life purpose. So you can use aquamarine or even... Um, angel light to connect you with heaven more, to trust the signs you see, to trust your inner guidance, to trust in the angels, to trust your ability to know what to do, to trust that there is a plan that you are being led towards fulfillment in your life and the fulfillment of your journey. And also, so delight is reminding you to join in, to socialize, to get involved in things. So you don't isolate yourself or cut yourself off from others or hermit mode. So you make healthy changes and you associate with people who get you. And you're doing that right here on the channel. 
you know, you may not want to go out and socialise, but you may want to get involved in a live chat during a QA, and a or you may want to become a member of the channel, or you may want to connect in the comment section with people. And it helps you to build supportive friendships and connections so you know you're not alone. And this helps you to get involved with others and understand what your life purpose is and give advice to others and be around like-minded people. And it brings in power. And I also feel this is what the masculines have been invited to do in their lives, to join in with different things, to get involved in different things. And they are realizing through joining in and socializing that they don't fit into certain things anymore, that they want to address and assess their life and make changes. And I also want to bring in at the end of this reading, because I definitely feel that's what you need to know. You know, things are being healed right now to make things lighter, to help us to feel more at ease with things. And if you want to join in, you may even want to come to my event in London in May. You know, to have this event where you were connecting in the same room face to face with like minded beings who get and understand you. You may be invited to join in with that right now. And if you are, you can follow the link in the description box to take you to the ticket sales and all the information is there. But I feel this is definitely a big message to connect with others, to know you're not alone to remember everything you're going through as part of your divine life purpose and it's all happening to clear away negativity to open you up to your own divine power so you own that power to bring in a fresh start so when you're busy and you're going through busy times you're able to multitask you're able to get things done and you also know that there's divine intervention there. Remember, Cinderella tried to do everything by herself and it didn't work. As soon as she called on her guardian angel, her, you know, her fairy godmother she was able to go to the ball and whenever we go through something where we feel busy or we're multitasking call on your angels and guides to help you to come into your life so that god will send you that miracle so you'll feel healed in all ways and all shapes and forms so that you'll know that you are unique and special and it's time to be different to stand out from the crowd so trust yourself today there is a healing taking place to bring you together the right way and that's part of your life purpose and your mission so don't be surprised if you've seen white stags or stags of any kind today as a symbol of union and the mission that you will share together transformed as one I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.